Hey eBay sellers, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the eBay standard envelope. I'll tell you everything you need to know about it and how to use it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So you may be thinking to yourself, what is the eBay standard envelope? And basically all it is is a shipping label that goes on an envelope. Here's a regular envelope and here is the eBay standard envelope. It's not a special envelope that eBay mailed me. All it is is a label that I printed out of my computer and put on a regular envelope. Now you may be thinking, what is the difference between the eBay label that you printed out and a regular envelope with a postage stamp? Well, the answer is simple. With a postage stamp, you don't get a tracking number and you also don't get the discounted rate that you do with the eBay standard envelope. If you use an envelope with a regular stamp, you're gonna pay 55 cents per ounce. Whereas if you use an eBay standard envelope, one ounce would cost you 51 cents, two ounces would cost you only 71 cents, and three ounces only cost 91 cents. So the heavier envelope, the more you save versus using a regular envelope with regular stamps. So the eBay standard envelope is a really great shipping option that eBay just released because in the olden days, if you were a seller that had to ship something in an envelope, if you shipped it, you had no tracking, which meant that if it got lost, you were out of luck. Or if your buyer claimed that they never received your item, there was no proof and eBay always sided with the buyer saying that the item was never delivered. So the tracking component with the eBay standard envelope is really, really huge. Not to mention the great savings you get versus using just a regular postage stamp. All right, so now that we've established what the standard envelope is, now we're gonna talk about what it can be used for. Now currently on eBay, the standard envelope can be used for one of three categories, and they are trading cards, collectible stamps, coins and money, and postcards. Now currently eBay is restricting the standard envelope to only be used in these three specific categories. So if you're trying to find it to ship something else flat, like maybe say a patch or a coupon or something else flat that could go in an envelope, you're out of luck for the moment. But hopefully down the road, eBay will be opening more categories and ungating more areas once they kind of pilot these three specific categories that they are focusing on right now. Now, before you go ahead and jam a bunch of trading cards or money or even postcards into an envelope and mail them using the eBay standard envelope, there are a few rules that eBay requires you to follow to make sure that you're compliant with the eBay standard envelope. Now, when you're shipping trading cards, you are allowed to ship them in top loaders but you're not allowed to use more than two top loaders per envelope. And if you don't know what a top loader is, it's basically a protective case that the card goes into that prevents it from getting bent when you mail it in the envelope. And the final rule with trading cards is you are not allowed to mail graded trading cards in the standard envelope. A graded trading card is a card that is professionally evaluated by a grading company that has a specific score on the condition and the quality of the card. And to be quite honest, you probably wouldn't want to ship a graded card in an envelope anyways. You probably want to use a package and mail that either first class or priority when you're mailing a graded card because to be honest, graded cards are more expensive anyway. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the rules with coins and paper money. Now the first rule is you're not allowed to ship more than five raw coins or paper money in the eBay standard envelope. And the reason is simple, the post office does not want the envelope to get too thick when they're shipping it because it gets jammed in the shipping processors. Now if you're using a protective holder for your coins or for your paper money, you're not allowed to use more than three protective covers for your paper money or for your coins in the envelope. Another rule with the coins is you're not allowed to ship rolls of coins in an envelope. Obviously a rolled coin would be way too thick for an envelope anyway. And with money, you're also not allowed to ship graded money. Um, just like with trading cards, eBay doesn't want you mailing expensive and valuable items in the mail using the standard envelope. They want you to ship it with priority or first first class mail so you have more coverage in the event that the package were to get stolen or lost. And finally, the last rule with money and coins is you're not allowed to ship bullion. Now that's pretty much going to be anything like gold or silver and obviously you would not want to ship something that valuable in an envelope anyways. All right, so now for the final category of things you can ship in the standard envelope and that is postcards and stamps. Now the rules are very similar as they were to trading cards and with money and they all pertain to thickness and value. Now with postcards, you're not allowed to ship more than three postcards or historical items in the standard envelope. And with stamps, they don't want you sending more than 10 in an envelope. 
Now, speaking of stamps, eBay will not allow you to send coils or rolls of stamps like this, and they also do not want you to send sheets of stamps in the standard envelope, only individual stamps. And on top of that, if you're mailing stamps, they are not allowed to be graded. And finally, if you have a stamp plate block that fits inside of an envelope, you are allowed to mail that with the eBay standard envelope as well. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and I've gone through all of the fine print and all of the rules that pertain to the eBay standard envelope, I'm gonna now go ahead and jump over to my eBay account and show you exactly how to process postage for the eBay standard envelope. Okay, now I am here on my eBay shipping dashboard and I am ready to ship out this postcard. Now, if I scroll down, one of the very first options you should see is the eBay standard envelope. If it's not your first option, it probably will be a little bit further down. So if you don't see it right away, don't be afraid to scroll down a little bit further and you should be able to find it. If you do not see the standard envelope option, you're probably trying to ship in a category that does not support the eBay standard envelope and eBay will not allow you to ship that envelope. So you have to have the standard envelope selected. And of course, down here at the bottom, you'll see an alert that says to avoid having your shipment returned, please ensure that your envelope is compliant with all the requirements. And basically those requirements are the requirements that I outlined in this video before we got to this point. Now, just like anything else I would mail on eBay, I wanna go ahead and weigh my envelope. And if it weighs one ounce, great. I don't have to do anything. Um, it should automatically default to one ounce if you're mailing something with the standard envelope. But if it didn't, go ahead and enter in one ounce. If you went ahead and added in more than one to three ounces on your postcard or your stamp or your trading cards, you're probably not gonna see the standard envelope option. So if you're wondering where it is on your dashboard, go ahead and re-enter in the ounces. Weigh your package, enter in however many ounces it is, and then go ahead and let it auto-populate and it should pop right on up. As you can tell, if it's one ounce, the rate is 51 cents. If I change it to two ounces, it jumps up to 71 cents. And of course, if I change it to three ounces, it's gonna jump up to that 91 cent rate. But if I were to go beyond that, that standard envelope option disappears altogether because I no longer meet the requirements for the eBay standard envelope. But I'm gonna go ahead for the sake of this order and enter in one ounce because that's how much my package weighs. And when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and click the purchase shipping label button down in the very bottom right hand corner. Now I've gone ahead and kind of hid that portion of my screen from you because that is my buyer's address and their contact info and obviously I wanna respect the privacy of my buyer and I'm not gonna share that info with you. But trust me, that button is there in the bottom right hand corner and if you click it, it's gonna go ahead and bring you to the next screen. Now when I get to the next screen, of course, I would go ahead and click on the print label button just like I would any other label. And after I print my label with either my printer or my label machine, I can go ahead and affix that label to the package to have it be ready to be mailed. Now once I've gone ahead and purchased and printed my standard envelope label, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and peel this label off and then affix it to my regular envelope. Now, as you can tell, the label that I printed is a lot bigger than my envelope. So if I wanted to, I could take a pair of scissors and trim it down to get it to fit, or I could go ahead and reformat my printer to make it more to scale to fit my envelope. Now, after I put my label on my envelope, I am finished. Just like any other package that you would mail with eBay, I can now take this to the post office and drop it off and it'll be well on its way to its destination. Now in closing, one more thing before I go, there are requirements to the size of the envelope that you are allowed to use with the eBay standard envelope. You can't use envelopes that are really, really large and eBay does not want you to use envelopes that are too small. If you wanna know what sizes or what the limitations are, I'll drop a link down in the comment section below to a handy template that you can print out to help gauge if your envelope is too small or too big. All right guys, that's all there is to using the standard envelope on eBay. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, you can help support my channel by giving it a thumbs up down below or by subscribing. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be the first to know anytime I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, happy selling on eBay. Bye everyone.